Okay. So we have uh, Robin Lively. We got Sean back. My God, look at you too. Bring it in. Give me some sugar. Mm. Oh. You ruined my life, LaRusso. Mike, come here. You took everything from me. But what was it like shooting with, with Sean and, and that character sort of redemption arc? It was great. I mean, he, he he came in like every all our OG guys uh, uh, come in and they just do a, yeah. a great job. One of my favorite scenes in, in uh, episode 10 is outside the limo and, yes. and just me knowing the insanity and and the guys wanting to just uh, get on the horses and and yeah. a beer thrown in my head. It was, I, I love that scene. It's really funny. Johnny has no not, nothing. He doesn't know who this Mike Barnes is. It doesn't mean anything. You know, so you, who the hell is this guy? He's the bad. He looks so bad to me, which is what, what Chosen says as well. Um, but then he then Mike Barnes comes up with this genius idea. As far as Johnny's concerned, it's like yeah, the bad boy's right. Like all of a sudden he turns around and he's calling the bad boy. And they're you know they have no history. They have no bump. It's hysterical that these two and these three guys that tormented Larusso for all this time are all all together. <laughs> all these three yeah. numbers drug up. Yeah, I mean it's really fun. It's a I, lot of fun. It's so fun to have that in the show. And UG just it, it knocks it out of the park. He's so it's so great to see this you know this villain upon villains from Karate Kid Part Two now come back to be you know, a close friend and, and, and ally. It's, it's, yeah. it's just a tangled web. It's so much fun. This is what we're up against. This is how everyone sees him. As some kind of philanthropist out to save the kids of the valley, yeah. Terry Silver. What was the moment either in story pitches or, you know, in, in whatever the process is where you guys knew like, well, we're raising the stakes this season. This season is gonna be we're definitely kicking it up a notch here. In the early part of the season, uh, Daniel LaRusso is the only one who knows the insanity of what and who Terry Silver is, this cancer of the valley. And he kind of looks like the crazy person, goes off, you know, off road a bit and uh, unravels all areas of his life. That was something that the onset I was excited about bringing forth, like him not so put together and just, a knee-jerk temper scenario. He was He's kind of losing his grip on everything, trying to do right. So mm -hmm. once once the team all comes together and is this common enemy and and uh, and they're, they're, he becomes the protagonist that he kind of was in the original Karate Kid film uh, on the right side of the law for all the right reasons, um, that was an exciting uh, thing for me in the arc of the season, uh, you know, that was different from the previous four seasons. Yeah, it's an interesting dynamic when Johnny Lawrence is the one who's like, what are you doing, guy? Yeah, what are you Just doing, put man? it away. That's what I was going to say. I love that scene. That's the, that's the, that's 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 when the stakes get high for Johnny Lawrence when he sees Daniel LaRusso in such distress. It's like, wait, but there's something really going on here. And Johnny's disconnected from it all. He's conveniently just put his uh, eagle fang, uh, you know, headband down now. Um, so when he sees Lewis in this condition, and then also something happens to to, to Daniel that is uh, equally alarming and and um, or more alarming. And mm -hmm. so uh, Johnny eases back into the fold and sees it through. Um, for what it is for the first time and, and sees the stakes are higher and the high. And the, meanwhile, the stakes are being being raised off screen by, uh, uh, as far as Johnny's concerned, by Silver and what's going on in the Valley as this is, as the dojo is, as the dojo spreading. And yeah. Uh, and then it's like, you know, Johnny opened that Pandora's box as Daniel says in one of the scenes and Johnny feels like, oh, oh shit, I opened that. I gotta, I gotta help put it back in, you know? And, yeah. yeah. And the, I mean, the, the fight scenes in this season are like, there's always been crying. We've always seen sort of like Johnny kind of street fight a little bit, but it feels like everybody's street fighting this. Yeah, <laughs> They're brawls. Yeah, yeah, these are big brawls. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. Yes, it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, and, and we do it on a, a pretty tight budget and schedule. So, you know, props to all the, the young actors, all, all the actors across the board and in delivering in delivering that because they they're not writing less of them. <laughs> That's no, right. yeah, no, they're getting they're like we got a guy losing a finger. Yeah. There's, I mean, certainly in that in the finale when the ultrasound falls out of Johnny's pocket when he's you know when it really seems like he's not going to win this fight. Mm -hmm. I mean, that certainly like is that in your eyes was that a moment where we saw like this is this is Johnny's sort of like not only redemption in this fight but like. 
as a father as well. Like yep. sort of metaphorically, he's not gonna let anything yeah. take that away from him. Yeah, I mean, and, and that was the moment where it's like he realizes what he has to fight for. You know, I mean, if it's just a vendetta, just fighting, I mean, there was something bigger than him, you know, and I think that's what, that's where, you know, we win in a fight is when there's something you're fighting for bigger than yourself. And so um, that is the, 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 you know, the adrenaline shot that he needed to get him off his beaten, uh, pulverized face, knees, and get up and, and, throw, and get throw down with the, sh the surge of adrenaline. Um, which is which was uh, super cool to see was going to happen because mm -hmm. as I'm turning the pages, I'm like, okay, so his nose is broken, fingers are broken, <laughs> and, uh, lips ripped in half, you know, like, okay, when is he dead? What happened? <laughs> so yeah, that ultrasound picture was was great. With the finale, yeah, um, you know, it, it ends on quite a cliffhanger. We learn that Kreese is not only not dead; he's escaped from prison. Yeah, I'm begging you for what? Mercy. What do you guys want to explore next in the next season? Is that the last of of Terry Silver and, and Cobra Kai as a dojo? One never knows. I mean, they certainly have set up uh, this international world of, of where Cobra Kai was born um halfway around the planet and and who knows where that lands i mean the, the, all these ideas are percolating in the the writer's room i don't have uh first-hand knowledge of it all i know is these guys keep thinking and know, and know these characters in this series uh and this movie original movie better than we do and so uh it's really exciting for us to get the Christmas morning presents when they start talking about where it can go. I can say this without spoiling anything too, is there's a lot of story that we was written and that we shot that has actually been not, yes, punted. not included in the season. Yeah, there was some a stuff. A lot of big stuff that is kicked down the field that were- That was edited like out. G moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things. Oh, wow. To hold, to hold yeah. till later, which is a good sign. Yeah, that so means are, there will be more. Yeah, there's some, I mean, you know- We I mean, hope. There's a design to everything here, so there's a springboard to the next and- uh, yeah. That's happening I mean, in many directions.